So yeah, I'm basically preparing our graphic card to be tested out. As always, I'm plugging. Power is good. Just just unplugging power for um, hard drive. Uh, and the power is good. And this is good. Okay, so let's go ahead. Some fans not spinning. That's the first thing. Um, and it's not recognized by computer. Um, yeah, okay. Yep, it doesn't recognize by computer. Uh, so to be sure, let's just do one little trick. Let's plug it straightly to a computer. And what we see? Here we go. So, computer doesn't recognize graphic card at all. Um, yeah, let's uh, disassemble it and uh, try to find a problem. So, firstly, we have to unscrew screws which hold, uh, which hold the heatsink itself, uh, not a graphic chip. And. Uh, what I see for now is basically this car probably has been opened before because I don't see a warranty stickers over here. Um, probably it was just open for a thermal paste replacement. Mm. Okay, this is the first thing, this is the second thing, and now graphic chip. Um, basically the way how I unscrew it is basically just first one, not, not, not fully unscrew it, but not fully, all of them. So it won't have a pressure at one point at one point and not gonna damage our crystal on a GPU. Yep. Okay. It actually looks like never been opened before. But where the warranty stick if we if I'm asking, if you don't mind me asking. Uh, actually what I wanna say about those graphic cards, um because I had uh uh those graphic cards before and the common problem on them actually is uh, about a cooling system. Um like you see uh, on a pad here like a liquid, like fatty liquid. Um, so what about it actually? I mean, you can also see it on the uh, chips over here and on the edges over uh, uh, memory chips. And uh, the interesting thing about it actually, not really sure if they wanted, they did it on purpose or something, but uh, what usually happens? And this liquid gets under memory chips or under GPU and uh, makes a resistance or uh, eventually make a resistance and uh, mm, uh, GPU doesn't really communicate that well with the memory and you, what usually I did I just clean it up and actually one of them it actually got it corroded it was a corrosion on PCI Express and uh, yeah after cleaning graphic card started working but yeah let's first measure everything up and then we can see tell what exactly a problem on this uh, graphic card so let's start from our GPU power to GPU is basically 
1.6 when we have 1.3, 1.2 so basically the uh, resistance of a power to GPU is 1.4 which is normal for those graphic cards mm, resistance to uh, memory power to a memory is uh, come on Twenty one ohms. I mean, this is not, not, but I mean, okay. So for my experience, for those graphic cards, twenty one ohms, that this it's pretty normal. Um, then, ah, uh, damn it again. Uh, controller, memory controller is basically forty two ohms. Is okay. Uh, memory driver. I mean, uh, PCI Express fifty. 3 ohms which is okay so I don't see really a normal problems here um, next let's check um, not really sure how it's in English I have to actually check it out for future but uh, in Russian we say uh, those elements which uh, stay between our actual power and actually graph actual graphic card so if there's a high currency they just burn out and don't really I mean either they do either they don't uh, make uh, uh, more damages to a graphic card so let's check predakhranitele predakhranitele oops what happened yeah I have to buy new multimeter it gives me a hard time Mm, let's start from this one. Basic. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's see. Yeah. And we have actual short over here. And let's see. Other two. This one is good. This one is good. And obviously we don't have shorts over here. And this is a 12 volt one. So basically, not surprisingly why I, I don't have really schematic for this uh, graphic card just saying that not surprisingly why our graphic card doesn't recognize from a computer is because those 12 volt they power up uh, drivers uh, for a memory and uh, uh, GPU and they give a 5 volt as well um, over here um, so that's why not really surprisingly why our graphic card doesn't recognize because there is no main powers, no uh, memory power, no uh, GPU power so what I'm gonna do now is basically find a short but I have to make uh, ready my power supply so let's make uh, ready my power supply and I'll be right back so yes okay let's I made ready my power supply and basically let's get started. Okay, anyway, it's gonna take a bit of time to warm it up. Okay, let's see. Oh. Here looks like nothing. Okay, let's switch it over. Uh. Ouch! Yes, it is hot. Not here, somewhere here. Yeah, over here. Yeah, one of those two caps isn't short. Okay. So, yeah, one of those two caps isn't short. Uh, okay. Let me remove it and I'll be right with you. 
So yeah, how we can see, I did remove both of them. So this is two caps, and this is our предохранитель. Предохранитель, how we can see, just burn out, doesn't show anything. First one, and. So basically it's all set, uh, I didn't find the same element as the, this one, so basically for now I put 0 ohm resistor, and over here I just put one capacitor because I don't really know what the second one, uh, but for now let's leave it like this, of course I'm gonna put a second one, but it's not that important because for 12 volts there are a bunch of other filters and there is filters on motherboard itself. Um, so yeah, let's test it out. So, I got everything connected, of course, before putting everything back. I did check if there is any more short uh, or other shorts. Uh, as for me, it looks everything good. Um, yeah, of course, I'm plugging out with hard drive. Okay, okay, let's go ahead. Crystal is getting a little bit warm. And we get a picture. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Crystal is getting hot. Okay, good. So, yeah. So, yeah, got everything connected and I already did run tested. Um, tester for this graphic card. Play a couple of games. Did for my kind of 3D mark. And no issues were found. And, uh, yeah, no rapid temperatures or something like this and yeah drivers go through this car with no problem and it's installed latest driver over here and um, so yeah I'd say we can count this graphic card fixed okay thanks